You jolted upwards in your bed, just in time to see a bright light illuminate your room brightly before it once again disappearing. Thunder. You thought as you braced yourself for the next onslaught of noise, building up your comforter under your chin, you squeezed your eyes shut and your breath picked up. Ever since you were young, you despised thunderstorms. The loud banging caught you off guard every time, causing a surge of unneeded adrenaline and anxiety to shoot through your body. Another loud banging filled the air. A pitiful whimper left your throat as you felt yourself start to shake. Crap! Denki exclaimed as he was running through the rain, his book bag over his head as he tried his best to avoid the rain pelting him and soaking through his uniform. He had been trying to work on his homework after class when he passed out only to be awoken by the thunder. At first, he thought nothing of it, and his body tried to roll him back into sleep when one word flashed through his head, making him quickly scramble to get back to the dorms. That word seemed to be playing on repeat in his thoughts as his worries about the storm spiraled. Why am? He couldn't stop himself from worrying about you. Ever since the first time he found you cowering in your closet while a storm raged outside, he felt his scalp twist as he pulled you from your crouched position, your eyes bloodshot red and puffy. You always seemed so strong in training, but here you were reduced to a shaking, whimpered mess. That scared him more than anything. Ever since then, as soon as Denki hears the telltale signs of stormy weather, he rushes to you and refuses to leave your side. No matter how much you brush it up or pleaded for him to leave, after all, he was embarrassing. Finally, Denki reached the dorms. He quickly rushed in, taking off his shoes in a haste, almost falling in the process. Before, he rushed to your room, dripping rain water. Slowly, he opened your door, letting a beam of light stream into, in from the hallway, revealing you as you shook under your covers, hand over your ears. He was by your side in a heartbeat. The second you felt his hands on you, your eyes flew open, a fresh wave of tears falling down your cheeks. Then he was quiet as he slid into your bed next to you before pulling you close to him, wrapping an arm around you protectively as you hid in his chest, acting as if he could fend off the entire storm. Judging his quirk, however, he possibly could. You jolted hard into Denki's chest. As I respond, he held you closer. He started running his fingers through your hair as he looked down at your tear-stained face, the terror shining in your glossy eyes. Hey, Wayan. Denki whispered, his voice soft as he ran his thumbs across your cheek, catching a few stray tears before he wiped them away. You looked up at his face, noticing for the first time how worried he was for you. It made you feel worse. As you looked at him, you noticed how wet his hair and his uniform was, as water droplets fell from his hair before running down the side of his face. Denki, you're wet. Your voice was hoarse and quiet as you reached up to touch his wet hair. You flinched back as another loud boom shook the dorms, causing your eyes to blow wide. Then he quickly covered your ears as another loud boom shook the dorms again. Bakugo could be heard yelling at the thunder downstairs, but then he paid no mind as he tried his hardest to get you to calm down. His efforts to muffle the sound of the thunder proved useless when he had an idea. 
moving donkey try to take his hands off your ears only for your own to fly of pressing his to your ears once again why oh, yeah I have an idea do you trust me yes you did trust Denki, but at the moment the only thing you brain to process was the overwhelming feeling of dread that came with every crash of thunder Despite your doubts and fears, you nodded your head, letting out a small squeak as Tenki lifted you up into his arms. Your blanket still wrapped around your body. You nestled close to him as he quickly exited your room, making you squint from the sudden light of the hallway. Another boom sounded off, making you scramble to wrap your arms around Denki's neck as if the thunder was trying to crawl from the ground and bite you. Denki kicked his dorm door open before setting you on his bed. He searched through his deck drawers before pulling out a pair of black and yellow headphones. Aha! Uh -huh! he exclaimed before he hurriedly moved to your side before unceremoniously putting them on your head muffling the word around you. The yellow-haired boy then quickly opened his music app and turned on your favorite song, before scooping you up in his arms, wrapping his arms around you as he held you in a tight embrace. See? Isn't it better? Oh, that's right, you can hear me. Hey guys, Strawberry Bone over here. I hope you liked the video. Uh, the moment I read this story, I was like, I need to post this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I need to. And I know there was a commission for a petition, actually, commission. That's for art. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. A petition for a Denki ex listener. I think it was first met. If the person that petitioned that video is listening. I am sorry, I have searched for it and I have not found it. It's been really hard, but instead I found this one. Um, so I hope that satisfies you at least a little bit. Um, anyways, I hope you liked the video. <laughs> um, don't forget to like comment if you want any character in specific and subscribe for more and yeah that's all love you all and stay safe